Um, within the college then they have expanded greatly um, over the many many years that they have been running. Um, we work in collaboration and partnership with the Middlesex University as well um, at our sort of three of our sites. So within the team um, there is sort of a multitude of different areas um, that lecturers can actually be involved with. Um, whilst your day-to-day -day teaching um, will usually be focused on either sort of our veterinary nursing diploma course um, or our degree teaching, um, there is sort of autonomy within that to take on sort of specific um, modules for example um, and you can work towards sort of managing or being leader for that module which allows you to be in charge of developing the content, the exams and um, sort of liaising with other module tutors so you can take on a little bit more of a, a leadership role there as well and, and sort of gain some skills and confidence in that area. We also, because of our sort of tutoring that we do, um, which is um, sort of pastoral care um, for all of our students, uh, we liaise quite a lot with um, sort of the learning support team and um, also the funding team and our student services team as well. So there's a lot of, um, sort of I suppose, internal networking um, within the various sort of teams here at the college and um, just to allow us to get a better understanding of sort of the whole process of um, you know, a student's progression. We do have what's called um, our CATS, which are our customer advice team. And um, a lot of our team basically input into that at different stages so we can have um, progression cats um, or completion cats um, and those are people that are specifically trained for those areas of a student's um, progression to, to make sure that basically we have everyone that is skilled um, in particular areas for um, matching for when the student comes to, to comes to that area in their course. Okay, for anyone new that starts at the college then we do quite an intensive induction um, and probation period and um, within the induction we are basically just trying to get them familiar with all of the college systems as well as everybody that so there's a lot of them, um, but all of the, the various teams that they'll be involved with during their time at the, at the college. So um, that may be getting used to the IT systems, getting used to our virtual learning environment, um, meeting people that are involved in sort of student training practices, going out and visits. Um, also, regardless of the area that you're in, if you started within the veterinary nursing team, we would still want you to be meeting with those that are sort of involved with the business school or involved with finance. Um, so it is quite a, a sort of exposure to a lot of what's going on and, and there is support within that as well. You'll be teamed up with a mentor when you first start as well and um, that mentor is there to give you sort of that um, um, so I suppose support um, from a non-managerial point of view. Um, your manager will meet with you usually within your probation. Um, you'll see them quite frequently, but they will meet with you sort of every couple of months um, to go through your probation period. Um, but within that, usually um, it's at least every month you'll have a one-to-one -one just to catch up and, and see how things are going. We tailor each of the induction programmes as well to specific interests. Um, so I'm thinking about sort of specific people within my team. If I knew that they had a, an interest in um, a particular area, I would put them into sort of a working group for that area so that we can use them for their um, expertise, I suppose, and allow them to, uh, again, sort of work on resources and content for that particular area um, where they'll work with others um, across the college. We're quite fortunate that um, we have so many sites across all of our centres um, which allows us to collaborate with um, basically our Edinburgh team, our Leeds team, our Wigan team, our online team. Um, so we have quite a hub of information that we're able to um, sort of get that support um, from, from all of those um, within the various teams which is good. Um, there's certainly a lot of diversity within the, the role and the teams as well and um, each centre is often slightly different um, and also the approach to our lessons. Um, we have online delivery, we have um, a blended delivery which allows the students to come in um, for practicals only and we have face-to-face -face delivery where the students are in each week. Um, even within that we have different um, courses so I mentioned as well about sort of the degree course um, versus our level three diploma um, and again we do also have 
to input into marking, exam writing, exam marking. Um, so there's a, there's a lot within the role to keep everybody busy and it means that you're not doing the same thing over and over. You're not just lecturing every day and you're not just marking every day. Is that there is that sort of um, yeah variety within it as well and just able to again collaborate with lots of different people um, across um, the college and in particular sort of the, the veterinary nursing team as well and um, we have all sorts of people that have different specialisms we employ vets, vet nurses, ones with certificates um, and you'll also work with um, academic team um, that are supporting you for academic administrators and um, internal quality assurers as well who are there to support the students and the practices and um, so there's a big support network for um, both the team and for our students. Um, I'm quite often asked at interview why I enjoy working at the College of Animal Welfare and I think one of my answers um, often is, is basically to do with the, the ethos of the college. I think um, although it is a sort of a large corporation and so we're the largest veterinary nursing provider in the UK um, but I think even within that um, there is still the opportunity for individuals to be noticed um, whether that's students or staff um, and I think even from my own experience my development in the role um, has basically you know seen me into quite a few different roles and uh, again I've been able to have autonomy within that and make progression myself and I think I can see that in others when I'm managing my own teams so I'm able to identify um, sort of traits in others or areas of expertise or areas of development to, to bring the, the most out of them as well and there is that potential I think within the college um, just because we, we, yeah, we are founded by um, sort of a veterinary nurse herself and she sees that veterinary nursing and um, you know it is her passion as well and, and that's something that is threaded throughout um, all of us that are working here and that's the the, the main focus is um, basically the innovative learning opportunities.